Jason from Overhype Studios and we're back with uh, the fourth part of our Let's Play Battle Brothers series with the final update. So um, I think we're gonna leave this town now. Maybe we're gonna find like, I think I was missing, yeah this guy was missing a helmet. That's not a good idea to go into combat without a helmet. Do we f have one here? Yeah, why not this one? That's pretty good. It's pretty okay. I think it's even better than this one. Yes, it is. There you go. Okay, there is a contract for a caravan guard duty. I'm just gonna take this on and move around a little. It's not that far. It's just in Wolfenburg. And then we're gonna head back, uh, I think, towards the south and maybe look for a couple of more contracts. I really don't want to venture out into the wild to find locations on my own because those tend to be pretty difficult and um, I am, do not feel confident to do that yet. Okay, there's just a noble house contract. Maybe we grab some more food if it's cheap. Oh, it's really expensive here right now. Ah oh, no, it's it's okay. Sorry, look for the for the wrong thing. How much money? Do, oh, it's just for two days money. That's not that what. Not that good. Two days, it's, it's a reserve I really do not feel comfortable with. Let's look into Kallenberg. We started out in this area, so uh, maybe we can find a contract here. Or maybe down there. There's nothing to do here. Let's head over to Taubenmoos. It's not that far. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. I remember there were a couple of orcs running around here. Let's speed things down a little bit so we don't get ambushed. There are, there are footprints all over the place and battle sites, so you really know what has happened here. And the militia is still standing. Okay, we got some um, low-level contracts. Uh, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Just gonna quickly look into the tavern um, to see if there's a rumor. It's, and that's interesting. Okay, um... Uh, we are talking to um, Winfried of Taubenmoos and um, there's a, a caravan contract. I think I'm not going to take that on right now. So we added another thing in between um, episodes uh, that you can uh, again haggle for higher pay. But um, the thing is that the people will get upset um, pretty easily or if you are too daring and then uh, you will suffer a small uh, penalty with that, with that faction. So I'm just gonna accept this one but I'm not going to take it. I have a quick look what the other one is. Um, okay, there are some bandits that they need to be um, uh, disposed of. I really like this guy with his fur coat. It's really amazing. So I'm gonna try to get no, I'm not hag I'm not going to haggle because I really need this this, this money, and if he gets upset, then um, he might uh, uh, just you know chase me out of town, and I really can't allow for that to happen. So I I absolutely need that contract. The outcasts then let's head over here over there and hope that they are not too strong. And um, it should be a couple of bandit thugs and... Oh, they're sending out a troop after me already. That's a bit annoying because um, I still, if I find fight the troop, uh, I still have to fight the, um, the location. Uh, anyways. Okay, uh, they have raiders with them. Raiders are really, really dangerous. Um, but if you're lucky, you can uh, gain some absolutely amazing loot from them. So like chain mails, helmets, decent weapons and so on. Yeah, it's indeed some raiders. This guy is going to smash some faces. I'm not sure if I survive it. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's a, it can happen that we lose like one or two guys in this fight. That was a good shot. Now, do I want them to just... Uh, I'm just gonna wait with this guy. I'm really scared of them, especially with the flails. They just flail around shields. And they made a good move that they're moving around my ex guy, so he has no way of engaging them. I think you're just gonna make a bold move and put him up here. The height advantage is really good for him. Anyway, I'm just gonna shield wall in the first round. 
Okay, I really need to meet, m m move Ludolf so that um, Ernst has a uh, has a f has an attack possibility, but I can wait with Balon. Just gonna move up and hit the shield. Okay, wh who do we have left over here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna shield wall as well with Carsten. This guy is so dangerous. 50%. Come on, two times the shield. That's not very good. I think I, before hitting those guys, I'm gonna try to kill a guy and maybe uh, lower their morale or something. Um, that sometimes works out. The bandits have an okayish morale, and um, oh, that was a really good hit. Um, moving in, maybe I can stun the guy. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, not. He taking some hits over here. Ah, oh, he's so dangerous. Oh, luckily he, hit, he didn't hit my head. Oh, he got this guy hit him. <laughs> Carsten is really in a tight spot right now. That's not very comfortable. They have pretty high initiative. He moved into my. Um, that was a big mistake on my part. He moved. He, he 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 just pinned all my ranged guys in one move. That was really really beginner mistake. That's so annoying. Okay, I have to take down this guy. And Hermann with a height advantage misses, of course. Not a very good thing to happen. Just gonna hit this guy across the head. I can shoot in close combat, but I cannot reload, so that was okay. Gonna wait with Wanda. Wanda is completely wrecked anyway, so that was not very helpful. Just attack this guy and. What do I do with you? 63%, 77, but this guy is way dangerous over here. Oh, good hit. I think I'm gonna knock him down from here. Or at least I do want to try to knock him down. So that at least um, Wanda is now out of close combat. I didn't even throw one javelin, it was so... I, mean, I did throw two at this guy, but he didn't hit. I'm trying to stun, no luck. And trying to stun this guy. Okay, that was that was decent. I'm not going to move Heinrich, and I really don't want him to get like free attacks. Two arrows. This guy is really really good. Okay, maybe I can kill this. Oh, that was really close. Nice one. Ernst is doing work. I really like that guy. He's really amazing. Well, maybe I, t I have to switch weapon. Oh, I don't have an, um, another weapon on Heinrich. That's too bad. That's not, not, not a thing that you usually want. You always want to have a melee weapon on your range, guys. It's really important. Okay. Kill this guy. Oh, that was amazing. This guy is fleeing now. And that's really, really good because he doesn't um, have a zone of control anymore. Carsten is so dead. Oh, man. I think I should move topwards. No, 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 focus on this guy. And try to hit, hit him a couple of times, that might lower his morale, if I'm lucky. A one, one more hit and he's dead. Well done, stunned him. And he's fleeing and um, got stabbed in the face with the... Um, with the uh, pitchfork. Now, Wanda's not doing very well for himself. Carsten is, I think he's not going to be able to survive this fight. It's not a big chance of that happening. We just move over here. And my guys are getting fatigued already. That's really, really bad. You can like try one shot. Oh, that was a good shot. Very surprised. Uh, Gerard is in a tight spot as well. Just gonna move over here. <laughs> His repost is doing work. And try another shot with the crossbow. Missing horribly. Okay, if I'm gonna move up on the high ground, so I have a higher chance of hitting him. 75%, that was a good one. Still casting his toast. There's no way I can save him. This radar, he has no shield one, and this radar is gonna just kill him. I think there's 
pretty much nothing we can do about it. Oh, that was a good hit to the head by Carsten. Oh, he missed him two times. That was insane. Now, do I want to shoot here? Um, maybe I hit Carsten and that would be insanely bad, but the chance is pretty low. I can risk it, I think. Good, good one. Oh, he missed. They missed all the hits. But I did so too. There's nothing he can do. I cannot even stun this guy. Because I'm out of fatigue, of course. Moving in. I think his Carsten will have to survive another round, and that's even more unlikely. Okay, now I don't have any. I shouldn't have moved there because I blocked my own line of fire. That was. And I also blocked uh, Hermann from moving in. That was not a very good decision. Maybe I can push him away. No, there's no space. Okay, I'll try to attack this guy. And he's fleeing. Great stuff. So this guy down here is um, is toast. I'm so going to lose cast and I can auto this. Nah. Anyways, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. I have one chance of stunning this guy 50%. Maybe I should go for it. I uh, missed it. Uh, cast and throw up a shield wall. The last resort. This radar. The radars are really strong. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, the raiders are really strong, so um, they have a really high morale, high chance to hit. And he missed him again. And he's so fatigued that he can only... You can see here that he's exhausted, So um, and this guy as well, so they only did one attack. And it saved uh, Carsten's bacon, basically. Okay, now time for an attack. <laughs> well done. Hermann's doing a pretty good job, I think. I uh, hit the shield. Nah, there's no way to I, I have a, like a decent shot over here. No, no, no. Don't. Uh, it's a really high chance that you shoot your own guys, and that's like the worst feeling in the world when you uh, shoot an arrow and like give an injury to one of your own guys. I can shoot from here because there's only these two guys in the line of fire, and and it's very close. Oh, nice hit! And another hit. Okay. So, um, uh, Carsten avenged his. Um, avenged himself now big problem is that was not the location uh, we were not paid for this fight and we looted hmm, nothing really uh, just one good helmet and two maces so we didn't win a lot and we lost like a lot of hit points in this one so that was absolutely not worth it to be honest okay Carsten is the guy I really don't want to lose switch his armor for like a or maybe just switch it with this guy. Um, because his other armor, I won't get it repaired in time. And um, a mace. Uh, the flail is a really good weapon, especially in the beginning of the game. No, not especially in the beginning, but in general. It's um, it's ignoring the normal shield bonus, or the defense bonus, and it can um, uh, has a special attack that is aimed at the enemy's head um, specifically. So... Um, if you if somebody's coming at you with no helmet on, you can, can basically just one shot them. I need another guy for my javelins. I don't want to have the javelins on the guy with a 61 melee skill. Okay, 42 is decent. 42, 43. Um, you, 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 you take them like so, and the helmet that goes to Hermann because he doesn't have a shield, and uh, this helmet goes to Carsten. Now he, he has a decent amount of armor, so I will b most likely um, he will be able to survive a couple of um, hits, and he also has the nine lives perk, so um, he should be okay uh, safe. <laughs> this guy, so Vanda is so beat up, he has to recover from his wounds. Can take bullseye, that uh, makes it easier to hit if there's something in the way, and well, once he's recovered, he will be pretty decent fighter, um, uh, archer. Uh, also increase the fatigue because the archers um, they do um, lose fatigue really rapidly and the melee skills pretty helpful as well um, to have a um, high melee skill even as an archer because when you're in close combat you can you know dish out some damage or do some like uh, desperate defense moves 
Okay, what do we have here? Hagen, his, both his skills are okay-ish, but not that good, so I'm gonna give him fast adaption. Um, that uh, helps out with uh, with his um, accuracy. Oh, he, he really wants to be an archer. Let's go for it then. The fatigue is pretty good. He has rather high hit points. Um, and maybe give his range. So he's probably becoming an archer. He has a really good range defense, which is really important for a backline troop. So, so they won't get sniped. Um, okay, let's go to Heinrich. Executioner is good. So if somebody has already has a uh, injury, He's going to do extra damage and he has the increased chance for in injury perk as well. Increases range skill and um, yeah, his fatigue maybe. So what else? It's it's pretty tricky. I think I'm gonna go for range defense. Or maybe just a little bit of more resolve. And for you, this is Ernst the Loyal. Is um, The guy is a bleeder and uh, if you remember from the, I think it was in even the first part, he had a collapsed lung, so he, he doesn't have any fatigue. But I think he's, uh, he does a pretty good job of, um, of holding his ground. I won't increase his fatigue, it's not worth it. Okay, what else? Maybe uh, range defense so he doesn't get sniped and maybe some hit points. Resolve. Yeah, just some hit points. Okay, what perk do we pick? Maybe like the headhunter, it um, increases the chance to hit the head. That could be decent or... Um, yeah, why not? Let's pick that. Okay, now we have some frontline troops. A lot of level ups going on right now, so um, maybe I should feel a little bit more confident for the next fight. Uh, both of skills are pretty low, so I'm gonna pick fast adaption to help him out on that. Increase your melee skill, your fatigue. And let's go for melee defense. And Balon also, oh no, he already has a level. He has pretty high hit points, I'm gonna increase those further. And um, this is really low roll on his melee skill, that's a, really, it's, it's a shame. Gonna take it anyways, he really needs it. Fatigue roll is really low, so, but his resolve is extremely low, he needs a, definitely needs that. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, maybe we can go for a defensive perk, like Steel Brow. Um, yeah, his, his initiative is not that high. So this uh, dodge gives him a uh, bonus to range defense and melee defense uh, equal to his initiative, but it's not really worth it for him. I think I'm gonna pick this because it's his um, offensive skills are not that good, to be honest. Okay, now we still have a Falchion over um, a left. Falchion is a pretty good weapon. How much damage does it? 25 to 20. Um, not really sure whom to give it to. I think you're gonna go this guy, Hagen. There you go. Okay, um, now that wasn't even the fight. Um, we still need to take out that bandit camp. And we definitely need more supply, uh, more tools and supplies. Okay, there's a bandit raider. Okay, guys, let's do this with our completely beaten up crew. Now, um, I don't like this poacher. If, um, his range should be the same as mine. So, uh, he has a bow. No, uh, never mind. He has, his range is one bigger. Maybe I should go here and just snipe him. But then um, the next guy who's up, like this guy, will move up and instantly get into close combat with me. So, I don't want that to happen. Wow, that was already a good hit by that guy. I'm a bit scared of this dude over here. But, um, and also this guy, I really, the, the bandit archers are really annoying. <laughs> they dish out lots and lots of, um, uh, of injuries. I'm just gonna go here and do a spear wall to funnel them into the middle. Okay, he doesn't have a shield and I have the um, javelins. Oh wow, that was a headshot. He almost killed him with one javelin and gave him a crushed windpipe. Amazing one, Hagen. There you can see the power of the javelins. 30%, 41%. We're just gonna take two shots at one of these guys. Missed them both. Now definitely Hermann will move up there. But I can go here and just start bashing this guy. Another head, uh, another hit to the head. Really lucky so far. 
I don't want to jinx it right now. Okay, I still have him being able to shoot, but he can shoot at this guy or on the back line, so I'm just gonna move up here and try to finish off this guy. Oh, amazing! He just hit off his head and dropped the morale of all the guys over here. I mean, if you're a bandit and the, you know the first guy in your line is rushing forward and gets like uh, his head chopped off in one second, and you're not that eager to continue uh, advancing, right? At least I wouldn't. A nice hit. Okay, I think I'm gonna move down here. Um, that was a miss, unfortunately. They, they are really afraid of the spear wall. That's a good thing. I really... Because um, Gerold over here has uh, already got his, his armor beaten up in the last fight, so he doesn't want to you know, do a sustained fight. Maybe I can kill this guy, 75%. Ah, come on, that would be would have been so good. Move up with Ernst and uh, step through all of this. Step. Nice one. And we have Carsten here. I think Carsten is gonna, going to try and go for the headshot, maybe? If he hits him in the end, the guy is dead. And I get the armor. Ah, come on, that would have been so awesome. What a shame. Now that archer, screw that archer. Okay, that was not a very good thing to happen. Oh, double hit over here. Oh, nine lives triggered and hit to the head. Uh, okay, that, that's what you get for being too cocky, I guess. Okay, let's shoot it, this guy, maybe. This guy. Well done, nice hit. Okay, I have to be really careful right now 66 percent that was a good one and this guy's already fleeing okay that is and this guy as well great stuff my guys are doing work over here i think i'm gonna move here so um this guy doesn't is pinned and then i can send gerald around to to um, try and get that archer what to oh he's fleeing amazing stuff well done. So, and he's fleeing as well. So, um, there's a new mechanic in the game. If you haven't seen it, that um, if somebody is uh, in, in in contact with one of your guys or gets in contact with one, one of your guys, and then there's another of the same faction moving into melee, then they will have to um, to do a morale check. Um, basically, this is we're trying to simulate that there's a horde of enemies coming at you and screaming and flailing their weapons around. And then you really have to test re re your resolve to um, to stay in, in 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 spot and just fight. So and and with this thing that sometimes you oh, come on, I'm taking so many injuries. Well done. And um, with this mechanic, you can sometimes route the enemies, even if you if you are not that well equipped or if your guys don't even hit the enemy. And um, and that can be extremely helpful, to be honest. I think you're just going to stab all those guys down. Down he goes. I'm a bit scared of the archer. If he decides for some reason to shoot Carsten, he's dead. Nice hit. Uh, I should threaten him, like so. Because it's his turn and he should run away now. Yeah, I don't want him to, to snipe Carsten down. That would be t too bad. Oh, come on, Ludolf is, like, almost dead. This guy, this guy is still holding out, alright, so... Try and uh, rush him. Oh, oh, Ludolf is not a very good, not in a very good position, to be honest. I'm gonna knock this guy back and, and run, because I really don't want to die with him right there. That would be, like, completely unnecessary. Well done. And Carsten is also staying back. Reload, move up. Oh, that guy, you can get lost. Maybe those archers are so annoying. Okay, that looks decent. This guy for some reason re re refuses to run away. Even uh, you, although he gets like peppered with all kinds of weapons uh, all the time and people are surrounding him, that was the mechanic, so he failed his test right there. Now please finish him off. 
or not. I think he's still gonna get one attack. If he's lucky he can kill Geralt. But um, yeah, that could happen. Oh, luckily he's um, he's exhausted. <laughs> and in the back line there are the people fleeing, completely bashed up, bashed and beaten and injured and and completely wasted. Oh, the archer is still there. Let's look at that. Still wants, he wants some more. Like seeing all his uh, companions getting slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, he run. Okay, so that's um, having two fights uh, right in quick succession is really, really difficult. Um, because you do not have time to heal up or to um, repair your armor. And then you, uh, you have to fight from a very, very disadvantageous spot. Okay, 177 crowns, 10 tools and supplies. That that was a really big one. An awesome worn mail shirt. That's an amazing armor for the early game. And also a couple of weapons. And I think we didn't, no, we didn't lose a guy at all. So, um, oh, and we find a prisoner. Uh, you find a prisoner tied up in the bandit's camp. Freeing him, he explains that he is from Eisenfest and was kidnapped by the vagabonds just a few days ago. He asks if, if maybe he could join your band of mercenaries. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see what kind of guy that is. That's a pretty awesome backstory, getting rescued by the Battle Brothers. Okay, he's a uh, he's also a vagabond. Maybe he's one of them, like disguised. Uh, oh, he's bright and he's quick. That's not too bad. His initiative is really damn high, but his um, his combat values are extremely low. His hit points are really low. Fatigue is really high, though. Absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with this guy. Anyways, uh, one more level up, we'll quickly do that. Gerold. Oh, he's eagle eye, yeah, that's not too that's not too bad. Uh, what do we have? Six fifty-six hit points, it's okay, fatigue. It's not that good. Uh, so maybe we're just gonna make you a kind of scout. I'm gonna pick the adrenaline perk. And uh, we're gonna gear him up to um to rush up to enemies and uh flank them and hunt down the archers and the adrenaline perk is really helpful with that because um, if you when you activate it then you will be the first to act in the next turn and so um, you had basically can get a double move so first turn you move four tiles then you act activate the um, adrenaline and um, then in the next turn you are the first to act so you can basically have like a, a cover distance of eight tiles before the other guy can do anything uh, of course, he's very exposed. Then he's he's alone and he's alone in the dark, basically. I already used up all those supplies, um, but it's really good because the archers will usually run when somebody's coming really close, or he can also kill them in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So that's all, always very handy. Okay, this um, this was a really good haul. We got se it's going to seventy crowns, and Taubmos no longer has ambush trade routes, and um, I think we're pretty in a pretty good spot right now. Um, Let's have a quick, let's wait for the um, for the dawn. There we go. So, now we have a quick look at the market. We absolutely desperately need tools and supplies and they're really cheap here. They are 218, you hardly get them at this low price. We are still fine on ammunition and um, wow, we need uh, medicinal supplies but they're uh, too expensive. And um, so we'll just have a quick look through my crew. Okay, um, so who's getting that uh, great chainmail? Yeah, I think Hermann is getting that. And uh, I think I'm gonna give the other one to Carsten. Uh, his fatigue is dropping quite low, but he really, with the three stars on the melee, you never ever want to lose that guy. It's really rare to find that, to be honest. And um, but his his uh, his uh, injury is not that heavy. He just loses some initiative. I don't care about that too much. Anyways, you can get this one. And uh, I have still have one padded leather armor. That's also a really good armor. So um, who's the lucky one? Uh, not you. Somebody who's like really good. Um, yeah, maybe you get it, Geralt. Why not? Okay. And um, I, I like how the armor is uh, trickling down to the back line. There you go. Still not sure what I'm going to do with him. His, maybe I'm going to give him a, um, a, a two-handed weapon. So, so he can just like another pike or so. 
But for now he's gonna get a shield and a um, and a sword and go to the front lines. Okay, I have so much repairing to do, so um, having a a contract that is a delivery or something would be really good. And of course I need some more food. Quickly grab this. Okay, episode's almost over. And um, I think I'm gonna cut it here. And next time we will probably just doing a quick um, a delivery contract. Uh, just to get some time to heal up and... Um, and uh, repair our armor and maybe get rid of a couple of uh, injuries. And I see that we're already very low crown on crowns. But um, I really like to ha have my crowns at a very, very low um, low level. Uh, just to optimize what, uh, what you can get. Anyways, um, I'm going to see you in the next episode. And uh, until then, bye.